Hello everybody, I'm a Rainbow, and today I'm going to walk you through recording video on your Oculus headset and then getting it off and saving it to your PC so you can share it with your buddies or put it on YouTube, whatever you want to do with it. It's free, it's easy to do, and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Go ahead and boot your Oculus up, put it on. You want to hit the Oculus button there. And then we're going to go to settings, which is the little clock down in the corner. Let's click on that. And there's your menu. And before we actually start doing the video, there's one setting you need to fix. Click on settings. Go to experimental features. And we're going to click that 120 re hertz refresh rate. You want that on. Uh, it won't hurt anything if a game doesn't support it, but if it does, the video looks so much better. So you want to have that on. Now we're going to go to sharing, which is the little arrow there. And you can see that I'm casting already. I can't cast and record video at the same time. The Oculus won't let you. So we're going to lose that. However, I am going to take some pictures of me starting up the recording and we'll have that. So first thing you have to do is click on record. It'll bring up that menu. Click on mic if you want to add the mic and then start recording. You'll see you've got the recording button up there. You'll also get the little red indicator on the upper right in your display that you're recording. Let's go ahead and open up a game. I'm going to record some video footage and uh, just so we can use it for comparison so you can hear. The mic's turned on. I don't think I'm going to speak a whole lot, but you'll be able to hear all the audio in the video. Now, when you in game, if you pull up the menu, you'll see the little red button right there that indicates it's recording. If you want to stop it, you can press that button. You can also go back to sharing and press that button. It'll stop recording. And you can also take a picture while you're recording with the Oculus. Now, this is on a bit of a timer, so if you, if you decide to record, you can get where you want it, and the picture will take. Here's an example. And that was how that works. So you're able to save both if there's something you just want to take a quick picture of and not deal with the video. Now, to hook this whole thing up, you're going to connect to the USB-C port on the Oculus. You need a USB-C connector that goes to a USB connector that you're going to hook up to your computer. Or if your computer has another USB-C, you can use that. And don't worry about my headset looking a little different. I have the Boba VR M2 Pro headset. It's pretty cool. Now, you're going to get this when you hook up. You want to click Allow. You have to look at your headset. And when you do that, you'll see if you look on your computer and you're using Windows, you go to Quest 2, you open that up. You'll see Internal Shared Storage. You open that up, and you want to go down to Oculus. And then up under Oculus, you have Video Shots and Screenshots. And under the Video Shots, is where the video was recorded. So let's copy that and we're going to save it to the computer. I created a directory for that. What you do is up to you, but uh, that's the way I can keep it straight. Paste it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go ahead and delete this while I'm in here because I don't need to keep it on my headset anymore. And then I'm going to pull up the pictures. I took a few of them that I'm going to save that I actually use for this presentation. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the video we saved to the computer. Get an example of this. Now, it saves it in the 1024 by 1024 format, which makes it square if you open it up in a video player. If you look at it in YouTube, you'll have black areas on each side. Uh, it doesn't hurt. Uh, it works just fine. Plenty of people do it that way. You can also edit it with, say, Shotcut or DaVinci Resolve later on, and you can widescreen a little bit, blow it up, uh, whatever you want to do with it. There you go. You've got the video, you've saved it to your computer, and you're ready to edit.
Good luck. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please think about subscribing and hit that like button. Y'all be good. Take care.